here we have this 1920s walnut chlorine ball and leather wing chair as you can see it's quite a striking piece you've got the lovely roll arms and then this is lovely this is a lovely feature normally they just slide across here and just finish off but this was done for takes a lot of time to make that it's a sign it was a very expensive chair when it was new and it's obviously a very attractive feature each one of these studs throughout the chair are nailed in individually so you can see how expensive a job and quality a job it was when it's made again you've got the brass studding running along the outline of the chair back and down the wings we've got a lovely better field cushion and if you ever need to put more feathers in it at a later date much later date you can always do that if you wish The actual frame is, as you can see, superb. Very lovely carving, and it's a really strong claw and ball. Beautiful. The chairs, just moving it round. The frame carries on round, and then, unusually, which is another lovely feature, the back legs are also matching the front so you've got the same look all the way around the chair which again is quite unusual normally they're just a plain leg at the back so if you have the chair in the middle of the room or away from a wall you get the the lovely look as well from the rear as you can see there you've got this lovely waist this belly on it which is very nice on the back so even from the back it looks Superb, high quality piece of furniture, very expensively upholstered by a craftsman who specialise in this finish. Beautiful chair. Imagine whack, relaxing in that chair at night after a hard day's work. Nice glass of wine and a book. You'll be fighting over it. <laughs>